fighting with his. I saw some men on the other side signaling to stop the truck before it went onto the bridge. They were the men Sligby sent to erect the bridge. Where's the car? This way. with the seal of the Green Hornet in his hand. Documents found in Sleepy's pockets are believed to be sufficient evidence to convict him of the murder. You don't have to read it to me, Casey. I wrote it. And boy, was it a scoop. If you wrote it, why do you keep calling the Hornet a crook? Why not find out what the man is after instead of classing him with hoodlums and racketeers? That's the stuff, Miss Case. What do you suggest we'd better do? Find out who the Green Hornet is. Find out who the Green Hornet is. We had a dozen paying rackets and the police couldn't touch us. And now the Hornet steps in. Then he not only breaks the rackets, but gets the men that run them. Mark Hyman and Grant dead. Mortison and Rockford in jail. And now they got a murder charge against Sligby with enough evidence to hang him. Sligby won't squeal on the syndicate. But unless you men track down the Hornet, there won't be any syndicate. Dean and I have tracked him down more than once. We've been lucky to live to tell about it. Look, Monroe, every time the Hornet strikes, the Sentinel has the information first. Think there's any connection? And the Sentinel offering a thousand dollars reward for the Hornet, dead or alive? Don't be a fool. Look, Reed, I got something. Well, it must be a date, the way you're dialed up. Dialed up, is it? Sure, that's what I want to talk to you about. A dollar and a quarter it cost me to have this suit pressed. Six months ago, the price was 75 cents. And the price of labor has gone up. You mean the price of protection's gone up? Look at this. I found that in my coat pocket when I brought the suit home. This, it's unsigned. Ah, yes, but I could interview this guy, Levinson. Well, even if it were true, he wouldn't dare talk. But I'll keep it on file in case something turns out. That's right, laddie. We'd better find it, sure. Mr. Brett. 
Thanks, Cato. Perhaps the Green Hornet can persuade Mr. Levinson to tell some things he wouldn't dare tell the police. Waiting 20 minutes, man of action. What's on your so-called mind? Sure, I'm giving you a chance for a front-page picture. A man named Lavinson. Is he important? After I've interviewed him, he'd be the most important man in town. It's you, Lavinson. Well, listen, your protection money hasn't been paid this month. But I haven't got the money. Business is bad. My customers are all kicking at the raising prices. Be ready for a quick getaway. excuses. You'll remember what happened to the others that didn't pay. Give me another day. I'll raise the money, Lynch. Uh, somehow. Give me that phone. Hello. Hello. Who was on that phone? Who are you? Uh, Green Hornet. Yes. Who are you talking to? Uh, no. Uh, someone had the wrong number. Don't lie, Levinson. I know you and others are paying for protection. This is the place. Wait here till I see where the fella talk at all. You'll probably scare him off before I get a lens on him. I want to know who collects that money in the name of the man who sends him. And why should I tell you? You'd hijack him and I'd have to pay twice. Then you admit you're paying. I, I admit nothing. I... Open that door. Go on, open that door. Good evening, Mr. Lavinson. I'm Michael Axford, representing the Daily Sentinel. I'm here for a little interview. Now then, a buck and a quarter you charged me for pressing the last suit, I said. I have nothing to say to reporters. Oh, come on now, Mr. Lavinson. Sure the Sentinel wants to help you. And you know, there's nobody here but the two of us. By the ghost of St. Patrick, the Green Hornet. So it was you that was collecting the blood money for the racket, you murdering pirate. Here we are. Now I want that information. Come on, get it. himself in there. Did you see him? Did I see him? I'll tell the world I did. I took his picture. His picture? Well, which way? Let me see that picture of the horn. Clicker scooped the town. That's great. Gunning can see the clicker gets a bonus. Break up the front page to find room for that picture. I sure will. This will jump circulation plenty. And my story of the Hornet and his gang. Gang? I thought the Hornet always worked alone. Alone? Is that sure? If he'd been alone, I'd have had him. But he had three lobby gals with him, as big as gorillas, and twice as ugly. And Gunnigan put a rewrite man on Axford's story. <laughs> oh, This photograph of the Hornet gives us a chance to pile the whole thing right in his lap. All ready, Chief. The men are waiting for your orders necessary to take care of Levinson at once before police force him to talk. Andy and P 
Pete will attend to this. Dean will convey these instructions to Lynch. If he's interviewed, he's to admit the existence of a protective association and intimate that the Hornet is behind it. If you act at once, we can clear ourselves and start a manhunt for the Hornet from which he can't escape. That's all. You all understand what you're to do? Leave Lavinson to us. Dean, you know what you're to tell Lynch. Police Department? Well, this is Jay Levinson. It's the calling card of the Green Hornet. There's no doubt now who committed this murder. Well, it certainly looks conclusive. I still don't believe it. Since when has the Hornet been working by daylight? I'll ask him that when he's brought in. We're going to get him if I have to make a house-to-house -house search. Did you interview the cleaners and dyers on the list I gave you? Well, most of them, but they all deny any knowledge of a protection racket. I've left Lynch's place until the last. Lynch, huh? Yeah. I'll have a little talk with Mr. Lynch myself. Sentinel's got men out interviewing all the cleaning plants in town. They haven't been here. Well, they will be. The boss wants to be sure that you have your orders straight. Yeah, I got them all right. And I don't like them. It'll leave me wide open to an attack from the Hornet. Oh, you're safe enough. With the dragnet out for the Hornet, he won't dare come out of cover. Sentinel. We're out to smash a protection racket and we need your cooperation. I was going to see you, Mr. Reed. I've been afraid to call the police in ever since what happened to Levinson. And there is a protection racket. Who collects your money? My name won't be mentioned. No, only the names of the guilty will be published. The Green Hornet makes the collections. <laughs> Are you sure of that? I've met him face to face. Well, that's fine, Mr. Lynch. I hope you don't meet him again. Lynch didn't like his orders. Won't destroy his plan. Well, maybe that can be arranged. How about Lynch? I don't think we'll need Lynch anymore. Suits so me. Phone Lynch? Yes, Mr. Britt, as you ordered. I informed him anonymously that the police would raid his place tonight. Did he believe you? He seemed frightened. I believe he is on his way to destroy his papers. We'd better be going.
gasoline is in the back. Faster, Cato, faster. meant to cross the chief, huh? Hmm? He's not gonna cross anybody. You sap. The place is full of gasoline fumes. Do you want to blow it up? Come on. What do you want? Who are you? The Green Hornet. Yes, Lynch. An old acquaintance, according to the papers. They made me blame it on you. They? Who are they? Who do you take orders from? Do I go free if I talk? I'm not here to bargain. I want the names of those racketeers. I've got a list here. Oh, you're 